extra chocolate in the fridge that I could probably mix this with. It's not semi-sweet chocolate, it's sweeter chocolate. Oh, you know, dessert. Mm. Okay, so our first step, I guess I should find everything. Have I not found everything yet? I'm gonna need a third of a cup of boiling water. Do I, do I pre-boil it? That doesn't sound right. Mm. Oh, I'm also gonna need a nine inch square pan, so we'll probably find that. So this is one of those ones where we're not actually gonna get to eat it on the stream. Um, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna eat it later and then post pictures, then I forget to post pictures for like two days, and I eventually find them and I tweet them. One of those guys, because this one has to chill. You know, I didn't really think ahead. I don't have, um... I don't have a 9 inch square pan. I do have a 7 by 11 inches. And, uh... I'm not, I'm not, and we're just not doing the nuts. I don't know if I should substitute extra coconut or if we're just going to live our life. I will probably just leave it out and hope for the best. Um, this isn't something, like, this doesn't, no part of this actually bakes, um, which is really good for today because it's already a little bit warm in here. It's not a super hot day outside, but the lights in here always get it kind of warm, and it might warm up later. Second attempt, stream is back. Oh, is it back? Oh, no, I thought you guys all just left. <laughs> I thought you were just really bored. Uh... Well, that's not promising. Oh, you know what I can do? 36 second delay, oh my goodness. Um, let me grab, let me grab a, hang on. is either going to break it or make it better or none of the above. Am I, am I, am I alive? I guess, you know, if it's going to take 36 seconds for us to find out. Could be just YouTube, let's see if you miss a step, stream back, stream back, okay. Well, I guess if we're back, that's something. Um, man, I hope it's not my computer. Might be. That's the one thing that's going to really break me to replace my other computer. It's not even editing on the other one. Like, I can live with that. I can live with waiting on my 4K 60fps pet battle video dream. I can wait. It's fine. But this, I don't know how much longer I can put up with. And I don't have a better solution. Uh, looks like it's YouTube. It very well might be me. Um, although my encoder doesn't say that I dropped anything. It just says that I have a 36 second delay. So something about my connection's not really happy right now. Uh, but I'm just going to keep going and hope for the best. <sighs> Alright, so, um, I don't know how much was missed, but basically, uh, I did a lot of staring at my recipe and trying to get some stuff out. And we're gonna mix together in some kind of a bowl. Let's use the slightly bigger one. There we are. Some graham cracker crumbs and then some coconut. So we're using, I'm probably gonna like just go a little bit heavy in the coconut because I am leaving out the walnut. And also I just really enjoy dried coconut. Even when it's not sweeted, I, it's sweeted? Even when it's not sweetened, I've, as a kid and teenager and young adult, would often just snack on it. Doesn't have a particularly good nutritional value, but you know, it could be worse. Ah, all right, graham crumbs, how many? One and a half cups. Somewhere in this box I should probably have at least that many. Uh, YouTube messing with the stream? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, well, it looks like my... No. OBS is telling me I have a 145 second delay, and that doesn't sound good. Let me reconfigure. Yeah, this doesn't seem right. That's a really long delay. Should it resume? Yeah, I don't know. Looks like it's fine. Ish. Because it's gonna be. I don't really have a plan for anything for, to, to fix it, so. We're just gonna paint the cars, and then uh, if, if the stream is just totally out of whack, then hopefully YouTube saved enough of it for, um. Then hopefully YouTube saved enough of it for us to just have a thought. Uh, stream's going offline and online a lot. Let's make some bars. Yeah, I don't have a better idea. I don't have anything else that I can switch out to try and make this work better right now. It infuriates me that I cannot get a better quality for this stream. Um, 
I'm still only kind of happy with the camera quality. I think it's this light that kind of like brasses everything out. And then the fact that we, you know, we get frame drops and we get lag and I don't, I don't know where my bottleneck is, but I feel like the seven year old laptop is probably a good bet. Dallas Caro, thank you very much for becoming a sponsor. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. I hope that you enjoy the stream and I hope that there is enough uh, stream working well enough for you to enjoy. All right, so there's a half a cup and then another one. I really hope it works out because I wanted to talk to you guys. I wanted to tell, I mean, I'm so excited about my aquarium plants. They're supposed to be getting here today. I've been, I ordered them like a week and a half ago because I'm going to plant um, Fleta's tank, the, the betta fish tank. I'm going to get a bunch of plants in there to both help with his water quality and maybe keep him interested and also because it's just, it looks like fun. All right, so that's one cup, right? Wait. How many did I put in here? I put two or three of these scoops in. Do you guys know? Uh, on and off. So far it's better. Stable for now. Seems promising with it being online so far. Well, that's a good start. Sorry, Mr. Tuesday's stream. I had a doctor's appointment. No, no worries at all. I hope that your doctor's appointment went well. I hope that both you and your doctor are good. Does this look like one and a half cups or does it look like, I guess I could pour it into like another thing. I need one and a half cups. I don't know how much that weighs. So I'm gonna stick it in this thing because I don't know how much I put in here. <laughs> this will this will tell me approximately. We don't need to be super precise with these amounts. I just, I feel like being an entire half cup off would probably mess me up. Okay, so that is one and a half. I did put three scoops in there. How did I get three scoops out of that like third of a box? Um, looking at baking stream on a diet, oh no, I don't like nuts. I'm not gonna, um, if it makes you feel any better, I'm not gonna put any nuts in here. We're just, we're just digital nuts. <laughs> we're not actually eating any nuts today. Um, also, speaking of the nut thing, I found out that there is, um, so you know how on Twitch when you've been subbed to somebody for a while, like, you'll get, your sub badge can upgrade um, based on how long you've been subbed to them? YouTube has that. I don't know when they added it, but I was in my community tab yesterday and it was like, hey, do you want to add like a bunch of super shiny badges for people that have been uh, sponsored for longer? And, like, so I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to I'm going to set up some different colored nuts so that as you um, people that have been sponsored for longer, your, your nut icon color that's beside your name when you're a sponsor will upgrade. Um, and uh, and I think that'll be kind of fun. Uh, many things boring. Not one of them. I mean, sometimes boring is nice. Sometimes boring is, is, you know, it's relaxing. It's, it's unwinding. It's, uh, sometimes. But it also, I mean, boring is also very much perspective. Like, I am super excited to talk about my snails all day. Literal snails. And, uh, I recognize that a lot of people probably don't care because they're snails. But some people do. And I'm one of them, and apparently my sister is the other one. So my sister visited me like a week ago, and uh, and she she and her she and her husband came over and we had dinner and uh, and hung out and I got to show her my snail tank and she like sat by it for most of the night and was like watching them watching them eat and watching them move, and uh, and and now we can text about about snails. She said she saw some on her way to work today, and I'm just so excited that I have a fellow. I mean we're related, so it's not terribly surprising, but you know snail snail loving Brefford. Oh man. I, uh, hang on, I need to, I need to keep moving before I cut the, the rinds off of their zucchini. I noticed that whenever I fed them zucchini, they wouldn't eat the rinds, so I peeled their zucchini slice for them last night and then cut it in half so that they could each have one instead of fighting over the same one. Because <laughs> I've noticed they tend to kind of chew on each other. Like, I don't think it hurts because they're snails, they have, like, no teeth. They have a radula, which is like a snail tongue. Fun fact, snail tongues, radulas. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> Graham crumbs! In bowl, one and a half cups, good. I need coconut, add coconut. How much coconut? A cup, I can do that. There we go. There we go, did it. Uh, morning, good morning, Sebastian. Excited for the chance to watch the live stream, welcome. The queen hazel aquarium queen. Oh man, I am, I am but a, oh goodness, uh, aquarium grasshopper, but. I, uh, I'm working on it. Uh, two minutes delayed, it was three. Definitely two, not sure three. Oh, the scoop. 
Oh yeah, this is super delayed. My OBS is telling me we're, we're about two and a half minutes behind. And based on chat, I'm starting to think that's true. So uh, if it seems like I'm ignoring you, I promise you that I'm not trying. <laughs> I'm trying to not ignore you. It's just, it's just kind of the way it is. All right, so there's like a half a cup. Um, once, when I one day, this year, this year, upgrade my other PC, so I can move the other one in here. Bacon strips up that. I found it the dog park. Bye. Bye. Um, and then this should go more smoothly. Um, my dog is very excited when it's time to go outside, and my husband decided to take him to the dog park while I'm streaming. So, uh, so if you heard my dog yelping, he was not being beaten, he was just watching somebody get the leash. Uh, precious ribbon drop, is that still super rare? It's pretty rare, grass garden. Uh, is there Tuscar food in the WoW cookbook? I don't know, I don't think so. I don't think so. Not that I've seen, okay. So in, how long have we been doing this so far? Uh, exactly 16 minutes I've managed to put some coconut and some grape crumbs in a bowl. Uh, we're gonna mix this up. And then uh, maybe a little bit of extra coconut, like I said, because we're not doing the nuts. So a little bit of extra coconut, and then we're going to microwave half of this chocolate bar and then one of these sticks of butter for... I really don't like melted... I, I feel like... No, I am not going to microwave. I'm going to set up a double boiler like a real grown-up. And by double boiler, I mean boil some water and stick a bowl over it. I think that's all it is. Never made a stream before. Finally caught a stream. Welcome, guys. Good morning. It feels like a weekend today. Um, my husband took a couple days off because of the new Destiny patch. So he's been, uh, he's been doing, or expansion, I don't really know what's going on, I don't play Destiny, but he's been doing a whole lot of that. Um, and uh, I think just because, I think just having him home on some weekdays has made them feel like weekends, and, uh, and uh, it's fun, but it's hard to keep working. <laughs> uh, super close to hitting 90 in your high mountain tour, and the train log is so close. Nice! Congrats! Uh, if your neighbor is having a big party with loud music or got a giant printer. Well, if their music sounds like a giant printer, then they may need upgraded musical taste. Okay. Uh, and then a bowl. Will this bowl sit over top of this? Uh, that one's a little, that one's a little small. That one's a little bit small. So this one right here. So we're just trying to melt together, and it said to do in the microwave, but I don't believe it. Um, two ounces of chocolate and then a half a cup of butter. And I think we're going to be later doing the same thing, melting chocolate and butter together, so we can just use that same setup. Oh, man. Um, the only snail for me is Zoom. Snails are great. If you ever decide to battle with them, they're OP. They're all right. They're all right. They have their, they have their definite uses. Um, these two, I think, I took out of battle. They were doing battle with my fish, or at least my fish was bullying them, and they were going like, ah, oh, no, we're snails. Uh, so that's why I evacuated them to their own snail tank. And then also, fun fact, people will tell you that snails will clean up your aquarium. While snails do eat algae, they are super messy. Super, super messy. They will... It's, it's a lot of snail poop. They just, they just poop. That's what they do. They eat and, and, the, and then they poop. And it's really messy and it was bad for them. Um, the fishes, I need to keep Flutta in like super clean water for a while until its fins get better. So it's best for everybody that they're separated. Alright, so... One stick of butter in here, and then half of that bar of chocolate, and then I'm just going to kind of let that heat up and stir and whatever, and then we'll figure out the next thing that we're doing. Joker, nice kitchen. I uh, finally made it to a bacon stream. Welcome. You kind of want snails. You feel like you need to research them so they can live half your lives. They need slipping some snails to a container. That is very responsible of you. Very responsible. Um, my snail advice, if you would like to keep snails, um, they're, they are, like, they need a good amount of aquarium space, not necessarily to move around, but to maintain a water quality that's good for them. And a lot of the what you need to do to set up that water quality is the same thing you would do if you were setting up a freshwater aquarium. So learning about the nitrogen cycle, how to cycle a fish tank, and then once you have a fully cycled fish tank, you know, you can you can have a couple of snails in there, they'll eat almost anything, um, and then you just need to keep on top of your water changes to make sure that their water's good. Um, the big danger there is that if you don't keep the water clean enough, the ammonia from their snail waste will build up in the water and eventually poison them. So that is why A, you do your nitrogen cycle first, which is very not fun and it takes a while and it's hard to be patient to get your animals when you're just, all you want is pets, but do your nitrogen cycle first and then you can add some snails. But um, with the amount of space that you need for a couple of snails, you can often get like a slightly bigger aquarium and then also get a couple of fish. But yeah, aside from, aside from the water thing, once you're on top of that, they're pretty easy to take care of. I strongly recommend mystery snails because they will not reproduce out of control without your consent. 
Um, a lot of other snails, like Nerite snails, for example, um, they're smaller, they're great algae eaters, um, they're, they produce less waste just because they're smaller than mystery snails, but they will lay eggs on everything that are apparently very hard to scrape off. And then other types of snails will just reproduce, like, you know, whether you like it or not. And you can end up with a lot of snails. Mystery snails, they lay their eggs at the top of the tank, you just take them out if you don't want them. And then, uh, and then that's the end of that. They're also adorable and uh, just super, super cute. I'm also more active. I think sometimes with narrate snails, you won't see them snailing around very often, whereas with the mysteries, they've got like their little feelers out there. They're probably active about half of the time, and then they're like napping the other half of the time. <sighs> um, but the snails themselves aren't very expensive. You can get them from PetSmart for like $3 each um, is where I got mine. I don't know if I would recommend it. There's a website that I'm not sponsored by, but I've been looking into called Aquatic Arts that does a lot of um, invertebrates like that, and they'll sell you like ivory ones or blue ones or purple ones, and they're still only like 3 or $4 each. Shipping, I think, is kind of gnarly because you want to get it shipped really quickly so your snail doesn't die in the mail. But Okay, so that's coconut. I need half of this in that pot there. I need to get it a pet battling. Nice kitchen, I think. Uh, the kitchen's really nice. It's an apartment, so we're just renting, so we're not going to be here forever. But I would actually almost take a downgraded kitchen just to not have this light. This light is orange like it's such a warm spectrum light and it's not replaceable because of the way it's just it's a built-in fixture i don't think we're allowed to mess with it and everything like when i turn it off and just use the front lights you guys can see me and all of a sudden the color temperature makes a lot more sense and i look a lot less like i'm made out of brass but um everything's very dark behind me and that does look a little bit weird um so and just with the way everything's set up there's no really good way for me to light this the way i want it so I'm hoping that my next kitchen, maybe I won't have as much counter space, maybe the appliances won't be as nice, but these ones are a little bit too smart for their own good sometimes. They like to yell at you for things that are not a problem. Like um, the firecracker salmon, when I'm making the firecracker salmon from the WoW cookbook, what you need to do for that is you put your salmon on a tray and then you broil it for like eight to 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes, depending on how thick your salmon is. And it's fine, you know, nothing's, been, nothing's lighting on fire, nothing's burning, you know, no, nobody's being harmed by this. But because it's just broiling for like, five to ten minutes, it gets really hot in there. And because it's hot, the oven decides, oh no, you're gonna die, and it screams at you, and it won't stop screaming until you've cooled it down. There's no, like, no, we're cool button. Um, and it's infuriating. <laughs> the stove top does that too, um, which makes it a problem for, like, doing something that has to cook for a really long time. After a certain amount of time, it's just like, are you sure that you wanna be this hot? Maybe I should yell at you for a while. Like the party, have you seen some of the old cast iron parlor tanks? No. No. Wouldn't that leach? Wouldn't I mean maybe I don't know. I don't know much about metal and how it works, but that sounds that sounds crazy. Am I watching Queen Hazel two minutes in the future or is she two minutes in the past? There's a mind twister for you. Um Hazel's <laughs> Hello Hazel, hey Tom Bobadil. How how are you doing? How's your how's your cabin not the right word? Forest types. Okay, so that's going to be heating until it's melted and blended. Once that is heated, melted, and blended, we're going to mix it into this stuff and then press it into the bottom of that pan. Does the pan need to be, like, greased or anything? Uh, it doesn't say so. It doesn't say that I need to grease it. Okay, so I'll just throw it in there. Whenever I have removed um, Nanaimo bars from pans, they've always been kind of stuck anyway, so... The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to, aside from the... So that's the bottom layer. Um... I guess I should like have this spoon here, and chocolate's melting. I'll just give that a minute. Uh, isn't this a baking stream? This is a baking. I mean, it's kind of a kitchen stream. Sometimes we bake. Um, sometimes we make things that do not require baking, and sometimes we just cook. Um, we're probably gonna have at least one stream one day in the world where we just drink. <laughs> uh, you had snails once, lived for four months, and it escaped. I still don't know where it is. Oh dear. That is the other thing is that if you're having snails, pretty much any kind of snail, you need a hood on the aquarium because they will get out. They will absolutely get out if it is not, um, if there is a space they can fit through, they're, they're leaving. Not, not the first day, not the second day, but eventually you will no longer have a snail, and there will be a tiny snail dying somewhere in your home. Um, oh. There's a lot of steam, but it's just from the water underneath here. I think it's fine. I don't know how high you're supposed to run a double boil. I'm going to turn the water down there, because it's kind of concerning me. Okay, so I guess I'm going to get um, another bowl, or maybe in the mixer. Um... Oh, uh, no, I can't do that until the crust is done. So I guess we just hang out. Maybe I'll make some tea. We'll just hang out until I've actually got this all mixed together so I can put the crust in. 
And then we're going to be basically mixing the pudding mix with the butter and then a third of a cup of boiling water, which I'm probably just going to boil in the microwave like a sausage. Huh. What are these leggings? They look so fancy. These, these are the, uh, oh, that's a bad idea. That's very dangerous. Don't do that at home, kids. Um, Xavius leggings. Xavius wild bangerang leggings. The wild leggings, but like the Xavius ones. Um, I really like all the nightmare stuff that we have in Legion. I mean, I guess I don't like the nightmare, but I enjoyed the aesthetics of the nightmare. And I liked this leggings a lot. All right, so we're, we're kind of melting. The chocolate is melting much faster than the butter, because the butter was in one big stick. I probably could have cut the butter into some smaller butter pieces, but that sounds like a lot of work. Okay. It's probably good that this is taking a while, because I think if everything went like as planned, and I actually knew what I was doing, I could have these things together in like 11 minutes. Uh, snail tank plus baking, I think of the cinnamon rolls. Uh, the Danish name is different, and it contains the word snail. I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. Hazel, do you know what a Marimo is? Yeah, yeah, I have one of them in my beta tank. I'm probably going to move it to the snail tank eventually, because once the snail tank has finished cycling, um, we're doing, unfortunately, pet in cycles for both tanks, because I thought the tanks were cycled, and they were not. So we're doing daily water changes. So everybody's good. We're doing daily water changes, daily water testing. But as soon as the water tests are coming up good, and the cycle is finished, and it's been stable for like a week or two, what I want to do is I want to get some cherry shrimp for the snail tank, because cherry shrimp have a very low bio load. They're not going to really like mess with the cycle much. I don't want to put them in with my betta fish at first because my betta fish is a well-known, he's extremely aggressive. Um, he will like, if I put the siphon in there for his water change, he's trying to fight it. I put the snails in, he tried to eat them. Um, I put my finger in sometimes when I'm like, um, if I'm moving stuff around his tank or like if my hand is in there for any reason, uh, he's trying to bite it. He's, he's, he's glorious, but he is mean. Um, and I feel like if I add cherry shrimp to his tank, I'm basically going to be giving him a very expensive snack. If I one day live in a future where I have cherry shrimp in the snail tank and then they breed, and I have too many of them, then I might try to put like a bunch of them in his tank while it's heavily planted to see if they can live in there with enough space to hide from him. And then if they can't, then I've just given him a very expensive lobster dinner. Uh, the crack of chocolate into pieces, it will melt faster, same with butter. Yeah, the chocolate went okay. The butter did not. The butter is still working on it, but it looks like it's... It looks like everything's mostly, mostly okay. I feel like if I just leave this like this, I turn the fan on. Leave this like this and just stir it for a while, and then we'll probably be all right. You hate baking up because you have a problem with baking because anything over 350 sets off the smoke alarm. Oh no. I, I, I relate. Um, 350 is a ridiculously low threshold for that. That really sucks. But our place does that um, anything over like 400, um, especially over 450. And I don't want to stop making this thing, so what I do is whenever I have to open the oven after it's been that hot, one of us will stand underneath the fire alarm with like a big piece of cardboard or recycling or whatever and like fan it <laughs> until the thing is off. Because that's also the only way to reset the fire alarm. The fire alarm also does not have a reset button. All you can do is keep fanning it until it decides that your air is good again. It's all you can do. It's, it's awful. Ah, I think this is better than Legion cooking. Two, two and a half minutes? Yeah, we're looking at a 145 second delay. I'm sorry. Uh, Hazel, you need to come to the horde? Uh, I wouldn't hold your breath on that one. Um, you think you might get a mount drop in the kitchen? Probably not, but I got a heck of a mount drop yesterday. Uh, you can see the footage of it if you watch the end of the ICC, ICC raid lockup sharing guide, but basically I was in Dragon Soul because um, I had a line in my script for the ICC lockup guide about how it would work for normal Dragon Soul, but not Heroic, and then I was like, well, maybe I should test that before I go telling people that. Tested it, it turns out it does not work exactly like that. For normal Dragon Soul, you can lock out share with normal Dragon Soul, but I had to do some different stuff. But, um, when I was in there testing it, the Blazing Drake dropped for me, so now I'm kind of not wanting to ever go back ever again. Because I don't need to, I now have every single map from Dragon Soul, and I'm super excited about it. Alright. So, butter is still melting. Butter is still melting. It's getting closer though, so I can probably start working on the I can probably start working on the um, on the filling. So basically, we're going to mix a third of a cup of butter, um, and then the pudding mix, and then a third of a cup of boiling water. So I guess I'll measure out a third of a cup of boiling water, or water, and then stick it in the microwave like a savage. Uh, what tea are you drinking now? I had some Scottish breakfast tea. Um, I had this stuff here. I had this. Uh, focus. Focus. There we go. Uh, hearty Scottish Morn tea. It's pretty good. It's very strong. It is by far the strongest tea that I've ever had. It's like, 
I am not, I don't think I'm like woman enough to drink that without a little bit of sugar in it. But it's very, it's very good. It's got a big caffeine kick. So I have a little bit of that left in the green pot. I might make something else. Kind of hard to say. What is in here? Oh, you know what's in here is um, I had the graham cracker crumbs because I was measuring to make it. When you're melting the chocolate, make sure the water doesn't touch the bowl. That bowl's kind of hot. I don't know if the water's touching the bowl. I don't think I put that much water in there. Let me, let me make sure that we're good there. I don't know why I thought touching glass that was on top of boiling water would be a good idea. Uh, uh yeah, you're right, you're right. Let's, this is a little bit hot. This is a little bit high. Let's pour a little bit of that. I probably could have used that for the boiling water, but for whatever reason, I'm not going to. Uh, here we go. A little more space. Good morning, Chris. Last year we were able to catch up again. Good morning. So the other fun, exciting thing going on in my life right now is, uh, the brine shrimp eggs for live snacks for my betta fish arrived, so I'm trying to hatch those now. I have an air pump arriving today, but I was so impatient and I was seeing so many videos on YouTube of people just like hatching them in buckets in their yards with like no aeration at all, that I decided to just for fun try like a couple of them. I don't need like a big culture because I'm, I'm feeding one fish and I'm not even feeding him that for food, it's just like snacks, like treats every now and then. Um, so I don't need a whole lot of them, so I put like the tiniest amount of eggs in the water and then I'll set the air pump up, I think, after they hatch, assuming it's some hatch, and we'll see. I had sea monkeys as a kid, and it wasn't that hard. And so, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how well that works out. But I'm really, I'm really excited. I keep checking them, but it's very important that I don't get attached to the brine shrimp, because the last thing I need is another pet that I bought for my fish and then decided to love it in the brine. It does kind of help that brine shrimp are kind of gross. Uh, you have to recruit one of my kids to be on pillow duty to fan the air. I feel you, I feel you your apron, I need it. I got this on Etsy from a store called Printing and Crafting, and they also have cord ones. Uh, keep that low heat. Alright, let's turn that down then. <laughs> I don't think anything is burned yet, but it, that sounds like something that would happen to me. It does sound like something happening. I want my water. Do I have water? I do. Also, um, I'm really digging not being plugged into my microphone, just I'm using this desk one. The sound quality is probably not amazing, but, you know, we have a better camera quality. And I was seeing you guys could still hear me. I don't think I'm going to go back to a wired mic. If I ever upgrade, it's going to be to like a really expensive wireless mic that will hopefully actually work. Ugh. The only annoying thing about Dragon Soul is spine. Yeah, but spine. Actually, you know what? That is not the only annoying thing about Dragon Soul. There are so many different parts of Dragon Soul that you have to actually be like, oh, like, uh, okay, so there's like a bunch of RP on the top of the Wormrose Tower that you have to wait for, so you're like talking, and you're waiting, and then you're waiting, and then you're waiting. And then you get to go through a portal, so I'll be like waiting, and then I forget that nothing's happening. I have to actually go do another thing after a certain amount of waiting. And then you get back from Hagar, and then you've got to start the trash for um, the trash for Ultraxian, and that's happening for what feels like forever. And then you finally beat Ultraxian, and then you have to get on the ship and once again do a fight with trash that happens over time instead of trash you can just run through a nuke. There's a whole bunch of parts of, and then you have to do fine. There's a whole bunch of parts of that raid that require active active playing, and that is not what I'm about when I'm trying to not think, <laughs> not think in front of them. Make a London Fog out of that? Uh, you know what I have, though, is I actually have uh, this one, which is uh, from Hardy. I have it. It's a Victorian London Fog tea. It's a flavored black tea. It's supposed to be kind of like an Earl Grey, but like with lavender, and I'm going to be honest with you, I don't like it. <laughs> I keep making it, and I keep being like, this is vaguely gross. <laughs> I kind of don't want to drink this. But I bought it, and I, I don't know, I keep drinking it. I had a real hard time throwing out tea. I will almost never throw out tea. It has to be really bad for me to throw it out. Can we skip spine? No, you can't skip spine. You can't skip spine. Um, I have figured out a way to share your lockout of the raid so that you can go straight to the madness, but only for normal. If you're farming the mount to drop on the rook, then you're out of luck. Um, if you're farming the blazing drake, you can do it, but it's more of a pain in the butt than it is to do it for the ledge king. You have to, the way I got it to work was the character that had the lockout, the 25 man normal lockout, had to be leader of the group and then in the raid, and then I would get on my other character, join the group, enter the raid, accept the lockout, and then when leader flipped over, I would kick the other character. You have to kick them, you can't leave the group. Um, kick the first character so that her lockout doesn't update, and, uh, but she has to stay there. She can't just like sit in Stormwind. Like, the, the lockout character has to stay in the raid in order for the lockout thing to work. And again, only works for normal, does not work for Kuro. So it would be good for farming spine, but I was really lucky that it happened on my first try. I couldn't believe it. 
All right, so we're gonna beat some pudding mix with a third of a cup of this butter. I don't really wanna, I, I wanna do this in a clear bowl because what we're gonna do is the custard stage, we're actually going to dye it. Um, that's what's gonna make this Borelis bar. If you've been to Borelis, you'll know that there's a lot of things that are like kind of like an algae colored, like sea murky green. So we're gonna try and get some blue greeny custard to be the custard layer of our Nanaimo bars. It's probably gonna look really weird. It might look really gnarly. But we're gonna, we're making more of those bars. We have to do something. So this is actually about melted. I'm gonna give that another second, but I think we're, we're moving along there. And then, like I said, I need a big bowl. Big bowl. So you guys can see it's on the counter there. All right. So we're gonna be mixing together a third of a cup of butter and then uh, that boiling water. So this I'm just going to, ah, I dropped it. It's okay, it was still wrapped, and also I, I, I uh, swept it. Whew, my hair's getting really fluffy. I didn't, I haven't, the rest of it's actually like still in a super curl mode. I haven't straightened it since I washed it last. Uh, and uh, we were very close to just wearing like a headband for today's stream. Uh, this is, this would have been easier to wrap, unwrap before I dropped it because it's been kind of mush now. <laughs> it's been mildly floral mush. Um, spine's not that bad compared to chest. That's true. Chest was also really frustrating. But at least there's no mounts at the end of Kara, like the old Kara. There's obviously there's a pet, and you can make a, if you don't mind if you if you don't mind chess, If you have like a personality tolerance that allows you to do chess, um, every like farm it. You can make a lot of gold by selling the pet that drops off a mount because you can get a couple of them because nobody wants to do chess. But I basically got that pet and then I never went back. It's not. It's not something that I want to do with my life. It's not even hard, it's just annoying. I think that can be, that's basically the case for most of, um, most of, wow, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna leave this aside because we're gonna need some more butter to melt with the rest of the chocolate. Um, I'm gonna mix in, so we're gonna mix in our boiling water here, and that should help the butter start melting. I'm gonna wash my hands with that butter on them. Never seen a baking spoon, do you show the result at the end? Depends on what it is. If it's a thing that we can just like bake and then eat like cookies, then yeah. Um, I'll usually like pull up a stool and have some tea and eat the thing at the end. If it's something that has to chill or set or like bake for longer than like 40 minutes, then I will typically not show the results at the end, but then like tweet them. It's supposed to be the same day, but it's usually the next day. Uh, so it really depends on what it is. Um, always give up on spine, try once or twice and straight quit. The thing about spine that I notice is that I have to be, like, if I am taking action in spine, I'm paying attention. So what I do is I get in there, kill one of the tentacles, go sit on the goo that the tentacle was under so you don't fall off, and then, like, do something else for a couple of minutes until there are at least nine oozes to hit me. Once there's been nine oozes hitting me, I wait until after Deathwing finishes a roll so it's safe to move, and then you run across and you start going back and forth and back and forth, just continually run back and forth across the middle, uh, kill another tentacle to get a thing, and then have him pick up the, uh, your, ooze, your ooze goo, and then you do it. And then basically after you've gotten through the next step, once again, kill another tentacle, sit on the goo spot, because you will not be thrown off the bat while you are standing on the goo spot. And we have enough health now that you can just AFK there and you won't die. Sit on the goo spot, and then again, wait for more bloods to accumulate, and just letting him flip and flip and flip. And then when you are ready to do the next step, then you pay attention. So pay full attention when you're paying attention, and otherwise just be on a goose spot. That's how I do it. What make is your water bottle? This is a Camelback Eddy. Um, I have these on my Amazon uh, recommended list because it's awesome. I actually had to buy a new bit for it because I used it so often. I used it for so many years that I needed, like, I actually, uh, like, chewed my way. Because it's, it's spill proof. It's spill proof, which is very important for me because I'm an avid spiller of things. I spill everything. So it's a, uh, this is, this thing's awesome. I use it all day, every day. And I have since I got it for my birthday like three years ago. Okay. All right. So we're going to, mm, we'll do this part first. We'll do this part first. So what's happening right now is we are going to mix together our coconut graham crackers with this melted chocolate stuff. Probably not with the whisk because I feel like that's going to get stopped up real quick. Um, so we're going to mix this together. And then we're going to press it down into the bottom. So get all that in there. I'm going to put this back here because we're probably going to be mixing further stuff. 
and then I'm just going to stir with spoon until it turns into paste. That's kind of my plan. Uh, I need some water to serve our feast. We're doing boiled bars. Um, as soon as we get to the custard stage, we're going to do our best to dye our custard a borelessy color. I was gonna mix the um, the graham cracker crumbs and the coconut together, and I feel like I forgot. <laughs> if you don't like chess? You ran it a lot to try and get gore help. Mm -hmm. You're a bringer of good luck. I follow your stream while doing daily, and I just found the portal for eventual hidden aspect. Nice, congrats! I've been starting to try and do a couple more world quests a day. I really want a Bellarhar Stormgrave before the end of this expansion, but I'm starting to think it might not happen. Yeah, well, the, the thing that makes me keep doing them is not only is it chances for amount that I want, but it's also good gold. That's the thing. If it wasn't gold, then I probably wouldn't bother, and it's mostly going to be good gold now, because in addition to the gold that I get for doing the world quest, which will probably, I would assume, be nerfed next expansion, in addition to, I don't know if that's for sure, but I, I'm just assuming. But yeah, so in addition to that gold, um, like, while I'm out there my Void Elf, I'm picking herbs. You know, you're getting bacon, you're getting felwort because I have cooking and herbal and I can sell those things because they're still needed, and I won't be able to sell those for nearly as much after the BFA comes out, so I really need to farm that now. Okay, so this is starting to look pretty good. You've got, like, ram, coconut, chocolate paste going on here, and we're basically just going to put this on here and then press it down to the bottom. This is our bottom layer of our bar. So, uh, oh, you know what I didn't think of? I don't know if this pan has, uh, I guess we just need to press it down. But uh, this seems like a really thick layer. My pan is like a bit of a different shape than I was gonna supposed to use, I think. Um, it says a nine inch square pan. This is a seven by 11. But I don't know, I don't know. I, I, I probably messed up some math somewhere. So I'm gonna actually use some fingers and really squish it down. Cause you want it to be like, all this is gonna do is chill and no part is this baked. And you want it to be like a good fur, oh, it's really warm. This is This is really fun. I'm really enjoying this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's so warm, it feels like it's alive. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. There we go. Mm. Okay, so that's we can just set aside and get on to the next layer. Starting to get bored. Wow, is there something you do to keep yourself entertained while playing it? Um, having an overarching goal is usually really good. So trying, like for example, lately the thing that's been making me keep plugging in, aside from making videos, is I'm trying to get two million gold to get that Spider-Man. I'm at about one and a half million, so everything that I do in WoW gives me gold. So I always feel kind of motivated to go into WoW and do things that will get you more gold. Um, same thing, like if you're trying to go for a mount total, you're trying to collect some pets, you're trying to collect some tabards, you're trying to finish Mythic, whatever the last raid was, and Taurus, you know. Having a goal always, always helps with motivation. Just like logging in just to log in, I find never really worked for me. Okay, so that goes over here. This is water that used to be boiling, and then some butter. I'm actually going to heat this up a little bit, because I feel like it needs to be warmer. Um, my butter was soft, but it wasn't that soft. I'm going to just give that, like, 30 seconds. My water's probably not boiling anymore. And then we are going to use a hand mixer to mix in the pudding powder. I'm assuming I just used the whole box. It says one package, which is 3.4 ounces. Oh, this is 5.1 ounces. Do people make more pudding in America? I don't want to have to wait. I'm going to have to wait fine. Um, I have a scale. I have a scale. I have a tiny bowl. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna need some, some doobly's for that. Oh, gosh. I uh, finally got my violet spell. Wait, nice! That's a really good one to have out of the way, just because it feels so good to know that you're, you're good, that you don't have to stress about BFA coming. Oh, man. You know what I wish I was good on? Is, uh, I tried... I, I didn't get my BlizzCon ticket last night, I tried, and I feel like I did everything right, you know? I had really good internet, I had, I was doing nothing else on the computer, I was refreshing, like, right as the time happened, I, I clicked the button the second it, it lit up, it put me in the queue, I did not refresh when I was in the queue, you know? I feel like I did everything right, and then it's just like, no, tickets are gone. And I know that happens to lots of people, um, and I know I'm gonna get one at some point. And, I mean, I'm going to California either way, I already have my hotel and my flight booked. But, oh man, I was just... I'm gonna try again on Saturday, but that was, that was tough. Okay, so bowl, refresh. All right, and then we're gonna measure this in ounces, and we need exactly 3.4 ounces of Jello flavor instant vanilla pudding, which is what this is. 
Massive thank you for helping me with Pit Battles lately. I'm just getting into it. Your videos are helping so much. Thanks for watching them. Hi, Hazel. Hey, Nixie. How are you doing? Okay. This doesn't feel like five ounces, but I'm not really... Oh, man. It is pouring rain outside right now. Like, really, really coming down. And uh, I saw my husband leave with the dog to go to the dog park wearing a t-shirt. And uh, he's going to be, what? <laughs> I may put on some tea just so I have something hot to give him when he comes home. All right, we're looking for 3.4 ounces of this. 3.4. That's one. That's two. Oh, oh, too far. Too far. Get in the spoon. That's 4.6. There really is five ounces in here. I mean, I don't know why they would lie to me, but... 4.2. I don't know why I'm putting it back in the bag. Like, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> uh, 3.6. 4 3.3. 3 4. There we go. Precise putting powder measuring. I uh, use the base of a measuring cup to press it down. Ooh, that's a good idea. Uh, I have those. Base measuring cup. I feel like I'm using a, a sponge to blend makeup, except that it's harder and more violent and involving chocolate. Oh! Oh, I dropped it. That was good fun. I, I was trying to say that was a good idea and that was fun, and I just said it was good fun, which I suppose is also true. Hi, Hazel from Australia. Hello. What are you making this fine day? We are making Nanaimo bars, which are um, a home... It's burning so much other. A home delicacy for me. Uh, I have lived in Nanaimo before. Honestly, it was never really my favorite place to live, but the reason why I think that Nanaimo bars make a good fit to be borderless bars is because Nanaimo is a port city on Vancouver Island. It's basically, um, it's like a shipping center. You get a lot of commercial shipping in and out of there. Uh, the whole thing is on the coast. I mean, lots of places are, but the whole thing is on the coast. Um, very salty, lots of sea stuff going on. Um, to be honest with you, I always hated it in Nanaimo. Um, both times that I lived there, I was in circumstances that I was not happy with, so I kind of hate the place. But the Nanaimo bars are delicious, and I feel like Borlas is the closest place in WoW to how Nanaimo felt, you know? It's like, it's like salty, it's a little grimy, <laughs> it's a little marine. <laughs> so I feel Borlas bars make sense. So we're going to mix this in here to this one, and we're going to use the hand mixer to blend that up. And then I'm going to use some food coloring to dye it a different color. I don't know where the other one of these, oh, here it is. We're gonna try and dye it like that. borelis dark turquoise. It might just turn blue, we're gonna find out. Uh, this afternoon is Warfront testing, which I'm hopeful I can actually get through a whole one. If I can get enough good Warfront footage, then I want to make a video about Warfronts. I don't know exactly what about Warfronts, like I'm sure people already know what's going on with them, but maybe like going over the things that are fun and not fun about them, that kind of thing. Preview. Ugh, oh, man. And then tomorrow is, tomorrow's the vlog and then tomorrow's the stream, but tomorrow's also more raid testing. So tomorrow I need to actually get up earlier than I did last week so that I can be finished with, um, the vlog before raid testing because trying to edit oh sorry the microphone's right there trying to edit while raid testing do not recommend I feel like that's not close to enough custard what if I just put the rest of the butter and like some water I'm gonna mess up the proportions that doesn't seem close to enough not even a little bit are you sure third of a cup of butter and some pudding. Oh, there's gonna be sugar. Okay, okay. We're beating in two cups of powdered sugar. I see. I was thinking, there's no way I'd miss the sugar step. Okay. All right, so I guess I'm gonna beat in two cups of powdered sugar now. So let's get that out. It's a good thing I have some because I did not realize that it was in this recipe. Um, but I usually have some from icing something or other. I feel like I could probably like ask you guys a question in advance so that I have something to talk about in like three minutes. <laughs> I don't know why the delay is so bad. Looks like you got the large box of pudding, little box is 3.4 ounces, that's why the amount seems weird. I mean, I know I measured out the 3.4 ounces though. We weighed it. We weighed the, we weighed the three ounces. Uh, I need two cups of this. Thing. 
Oh, that's what I did with my cup. Is I, I pounded my <laughs> the base with it. Yeah. And here we go. I'm so excited to plant my fern today. It's gonna look awful. Um, everything always does the first or second time I do it. But I'm just really excited to get some plants in there for him. I hope he likes them. Um, eventually, the whole thing. So I've already got some driftwood in there. I'm gonna um, sand it down a little bit more today. And then I uh, get the get some fern and some anubius uh, planted to the driftwood. Eventually there will be another anubius in the back, probably attached to like maybe the bridge. And then some java moss that's gonna be kind of like on all three of his accessories. And then I got some Amazon frog bit to float in the top. And I'm just really excited about all of it. Hopefully it, hopefully I can make it look good. It's not gonna be like a whole aquascape. Um, there's a lot of things that people use in aquascaping that are kind of sharp and therefore not good for bettas. And also aquascaping sounds hard, like looks hard. I watched a whole lot of aquascaping videos on YouTube this week. And those people are insane. I don't know how they do it, but they make some really gorgeous stuff. But I'm, I'm basically just going to try and get some plants in for my fish. Okay, so there's two cups. Two cups. And, um, continue to mix that up. I feel like this is going to be really thick. I suppose it's supposed to be. on mixing that in and we're also going to try and add the food color at this time so we're trying to make that like like i said kind of turquoisey i'm going to need to find my food coloring i should probably have like a specific spot oh speaking of finding stuff i bought over here this is a spice rack i finally bought myself a spice rack i realized they're not that expensive and it would save me a lot of time but now i have a spice rack and i don't want to move my spices into it like these bottles are really big these are like really big spice bottles and I feel like I'm gonna need to buy like bulk spices, which is not that expensive and actually very good value for like one spice. But I have a dozen bottles on this thing. I could easily spend like 150 bucks just buying bulk spices that are gonna take me 35 years to use. And they probably won't be good after 35 years. So I don't know, I wish I, I wish the bottles were actually smaller. Um, food coloring, food coloring, food coloring, food coloring? Oh, food coloring, I see the reflection, there we go. I see the food coloring box reflected onto a Teton. Oh gosh, all right. Borderless Bard's gonna be the next food item in WoW. Maybe a recipe in BFA. Uh, I think the recipes are already in, aren't they? All right, so I'm gonna wanna add green and then blue. It's lucky that it has both green and blue. Um, I was kind of concerned this would only have primary colors and I would actually have to remember what colors mix together and make what, but this will work just fine. So we're going to, I don't know how much to add, so I'm probably gonna do too much. So we're gonna like do squirt. <laughs> we're not, we're, and then we're gonna do like, uh, squirt. Oh gosh, it's probably not designed to be squirted. I'm, I'm probably gonna dye my hands again. I have um, I have the stuff ready to redo my hair. I'm not looking forward to it. It sounds like a real pain in the butt to bleach just your roots and like get it on your roots without hitting your ends. I'm probably gonna have to get help to do like the back of my head where I can't see. But I am really excited to have my hair done again. Um, to get it actually back to purple. The pink is nice, but the pink is not what I wanted for my life. I definitely overshot making it lighter this time around, and it is definitely a little too light for me. Also, I think that once I get it to a purple I like, I might redo the banner picture, because right now I'm just misleading people into thinking that I have brown hair, but it's not true. Uh, well, this is definitely starting to look like algae. It's not really liquid enough to mix in. It's very crumbly. I feel like I want a little bit more hot water. You guys can't see very well. I'll show you in a second. I'll show you what, what's, good, what's happening here. So here is my green, my green custard. It, it kind of looks like, it smells like icing and it looks like uh, algae, which I guess is what we want for Borlos bars. But it's mostly, it's not really mixed in. It's very thick. I feel like it needs a little bit more liquid. Uh, you're a bit jealous. You've been farming on over two dozen tunes on and off since it was current content. Oh, you got Moonzy's head yesterday. All of your friends have quit playing, so I have no one to tell. Oh, no. We have, um, we have in, in our Discord, in the Hazelnut Games Discord, there is a whole channel that's called Look What I Did in WoW that is specifically for posting stuff like that. 
Especially if there's either nobody online in your guild or you just don't have anybody left that you can say grass to that's like you're showing off WoW achievements. So, how thick is this? I mean, I don't know if you guys know. How thick is this supposed to be? This is really, really paste. Ugh. I mean, I don't want to make it too thin because otherwise it won't set. Gradually beaten sugar spread over crust. I feel like it needs just a tiny bit more hot water. Because right now the, the coloring is not even mixing in. I don't know why I'm like waiting for you guys to answer me. It's going to be like two and a half minutes before anybody says anything. How are you? Greetings from Holland. Hello. Welcome. You got the pond middle in your 25th cast. That's pretty lucky. That's another one that I haven't even tried to start farming. I don't know how many mounts I want. Like, I enjoy farming mounts, but I'm also not... This just smells like icing. This doesn't smell like custard at all. I feel like this pudding method is, is lying to me. I think I'm being bamboozled. Um, you know, I kind of want to be done with this stuff, so I think I'm just going to try and spread it over and then and live with it. Uh, hello from BC. Hello. We're trying to make Nanaimo bars, but like Borolisi, so I've dyed the custard kind of green, and I've never made these before, and I think this is like way too thick, but we're just going to kind of live our life. Uh, I'm going to use my hands, actually. I'm going to spread this out a little, because it's very... You know what this feels like? This feels like and both is this both feels like and looks like Play-Doh. It is exactly the consistency of Play-Doh. <sighs> um no, 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 stay, stay. Yeah, there's no spreading this. I have actually made food Play-Doh. That sounds fun. But I have my doubts about eating this later. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I really I should have I should have I, I, I should have mixed in more liquid. I was thinking about it. I eventually chose not to, because now it's like really thick and it won't pad out any further because the uh, the crust on the side is like popping up. But I can't really thin it because it's just tearing because it's Play-Doh. I should have rolled it out. <laughs> I totally could have rolled this out into a sheet. That would have been better for this consistency anyways. I was, I was supposed to spread it. There's no spreading this. I can try and scrape some off the top. Ugh. It doesn't quite reach the edges. We might have some borelis bars that do not have much borelis in them. I'll have to try and find like a good middle one to take a picture of later. Uh, all right. Well, that was fun. Kind of reliving my childhood here between the sea monkeys and the Play-Doh. <laughs> all right, whatever, good enough. Uh, we're gonna throw that in the fridge to set, although I don't know how much more set it can get. We're gonna throw it in the fridge to set, and while that's happening, we're gonna make the chocolate top, which is gonna be more chocolate tempering. So let's throw a little bit of plastic wrap on here. Put these away. Maybe get like um, some more tea or... I'm feeling really lightheaded. I don't think I stand up as much as I ever do on the baking streams. Um, I exercise. I feel like I shouldn't be just about ready to keel over. I, I ate breakfast today, I promise. Um, Hazel from California, you always make me want to bake. You need to join the horde or the alliance. Can you please close the top drawer? Oh, this thing? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Oh man, it would, I, I do, I leave drawers and cupboards open chronically. <laughs> I just don't see them as open. And it's funny. Oh my god. Oh, that terrified me. Okay, you guys, I, you guys didn't have a good shot of it, but basically the static? Oh my goodness. How can I show you guys? I don't know if I can. How much leeway do I have on this cable? How far can I move this? Oh, I, I, that's just the power, it's fine. We can break that one. So basically, what's going on here is, you see how the graham crumbs are like jumping? When I first put it on, they all jumped up. Maybe it's gone now. It was the static from the, from the film. The plastic wrap static. All right, now you, nobody's going to believe me. I promise it was like a whole bunch of them, like all of those graham crumbs that are on top. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. I can see it. All of the graham crumbs on top like jumped up like bugs and scared the bejesus out of me. Especially because I've been making the poor decision to watch videos about how to breathe live food for your fish, which includes like worms and fleas and bugs and stuff, while eating. <laughs> I'm watching this while eating. I'm like, man, I should wait until I'm done dinner and then I just like put it on anyways. All right, this goes to the fridge. Oh gosh, this is still attached. Oh boy. Oh man, that really spooked me. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a static, but that that spooky, spooky, spooky. Uh, yeah, close enough. Oh gosh. Mm. Hopefully this fits. Uh, um, that's not close, is it? Eh, that's pretty close. Uh, 
uh, you haven't got a thing for the Discord from your patron, or am I not doing something right? It's probably me. Um, th what the patron should do is it should make your name on Discord gold. If it has not done that, um, I've reset it like twice now because it keeps doing that. Um, I can manually upgrade you. Um, I can manually upgrade you. So just like put a message in Discord in any of the channels, tag me, um, tag Hazel, and just tell me, um, uh, give me give me a hint about like who you are on Patreon so that I can get you upgraded. But I don't know. It should be automatic. I need to double check the bot, I guess. Uh, what should make it? We're trying to make some Borla's bars, which are like a dessert bar. Um, they're like a layered thing. And I, don't, I can't really tell you how they're going so far yet, because I don't really know. All right, so that's chilling. So the next thing that we're going to do is tidy a little bit, and we're going to mix up some more chocolate toppings. So we're going to take basically the rest of this chocolate, and then probably some more with basically the rest of the butter. Where did the milk come in? There's milk in this recipe. Was I supposed to add milk to something? Yeah, no. I hate it when they do that. There is actually, maybe they just want me to serve it with milk, but they put things on the recipe. There's, there's milk in the ingredients, but no amount. And then there was no milk mentioned in the recipe anywhere. Maybe that was what I was supposed to put in the custard powder. It definitely didn't say so. A little bit upset. Okay, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna heat up, heat up the butter and some chocolate. Uh, and maybe like a little bit of vanilla. I feel like people do that. And this is gonna be like basically a melted chocolate that we're gonna spread over the top as a sort of like a hard chocolate layer. So I don't need this anymore, so I can clean that up. So that's gonna be the butter. Is, is the filling at least good? Actually, that's not that far off. I kind of thought it would just taste like icing, but it's not that far off from like the custard filling. I'm not quite the same, it's a little too sweet, but uh, no, that is kind of just like icing. Oh, well, it's still probably good. <laughs> I'll still eat it. Okay, we don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. I'm going to throw just the rest of this chocolate in. I'm going to break it into pieces. And then I think I need more chocolate, so I'm just going to go in my fridge. And I think I have, like, a milk chocolate with sea salt that would probably be just fine. Ah! There. Put that there. Get some bowls out of the way. You think that they look borelessy? I think so too. I think so too. Um, if I ever make this again, I will probably try and make sure that I have a custard filling that is actually spreadable. Um, because I feel like once it gets to a spreadable consistency, we'll be able to get the color um, mixed more thoroughly into the, the color mixed more thoroughly into the custard. Oh, well, the sun's coming out of the side. If I end up looking like really overexposed, it's because the sun decided to happen after that crazy rain. Uh, yeah. And maybe custard powder instead of pudding powder. So I don't need these. How did I make so many bowls? <laughs> I used all of my bowls somehow. Uh, use another spoon. Some of that. And then like, probably some more. Probably some of this. And then, um, yeah, just throw the rest of that in there. Why not? Chocolate. 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 Oh gosh. Uh, how long did it take you to level in RAS? Like back in the day or through RAS content? Because back in the day, it took me. RAS was my first expansion. Um, I, I, I'm a RAS baby. I started playing WoW during the ICC patch, like the week after it came out. So a long, 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 long time. Um, I took a very long time to level the first time. I didn't have heirlooms. I. Uh, also, it took a while to pick my first character. Like, I leveled one character to 40, and another character to, like, 60, and then a third character to 80. It took me, like, a couple of characters to get, to get going. So, I couldn't... I don't remember, but a long time. Definitely a long time. This is now a little bit too down. There we go. Ah, gosh. So, basically, the plan. Um, do I want to throw vanilla in that? I don't know why I want to. I feel like I just see people putting vanilla in chocolate when they're tempering it. Uh, so once that's melted, we're going to spread it over the, over the pudding layer, the Play-Doh layer. We're going to spread it over the Play-Doh layer and then refrigerate it for several hours until we cut it. So I don't know why I like, I'm going to ask for advice and I'm not going to get it in time because we have a minute and a half, two minute, two and a half minute delay on stream right now. But, um, I, uh, 
I know there's a thing that you do when tempering chocolate, like a temperature. I don't have a candy thermometer. I tried to buy one and I accidentally bought a meat thermometer. But there's something that you do to make it so that when it hardens again, it can be cut and not fracture and also to make it shiny. And I don't know what that is. It's something to do with the temperature. I see people doing it on the, the, British, the British baking show. Okay. So that's actually starting to melt really good. The, our double boiler was preheated, so that's doing all right. I don't think I really need to let the middle layer set all that much because again, it was like already really stiff. Mm. All right, we can put this way. And the rest of these, we don't need those. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of the bag of coconut, but I might just eat it. <laughs> probably use that for spreading and these can go over here so as soon as this is melted which is soon soon I feel like we probably have enough here this is probably the right amount of chocolate just getting there <sighs> so good yeah we're so good I might make some tea what do we got what are we in the mood for I keep looking at the London Fog one and being like, wow, that sounds really good. And then I make it and then I remember that I don't like it. <laughs> and I don't understand why it had such good reviews online. Um, we could do the actual Earl Grey. We could do more English breakfast. Actually, my sister brought me back. So in Victoria, BC, I'm not sponsored. In Victoria, BC, there's a company called Murchies. Company? There's a store. It's like a tea shop um, called Murchies. And she brought me back some Murchies tea and they're like flavored black teas. Um... And uh, it was just it was a really nice thing of her to bring. I haven't been to Murchies in a long, long time. It's a, if you're ever in Victoria, um, it's a very cute place to visit. It's a very cute tea shop. Um, they'll sell you lots of nice tea. And uh, there's like baked goods to go with them. It's, it's very English, or at least it feels very English. I've never been to England. I, I can't judge how English it is, but it's definitely supposed to be English themed. Made a real time stream. Waves from Italy. Hello. How are you doing? How are you doing today? I... I'm curious, I keep checking, not like during the stream, because it's, uh, actually I moved it onto my desk in my office so that I didn't accidentally knock it over while I was moving around like all my cameras and lights and stuff, but I moved my, my brine shrimp egg culture, and I keep checking it to see if I have anybody hatched yet, and I don't know why I'm so excited, it's not like we're gonna be able to feed them to my fish for a while. Um, around four months to level? Probably. Probably around there. That sounds about right. Hi. Hello, Panda Pancake. How are you doing? Alright, so this is actually, eh, are you, are you good yet? I'm wondering if I've been playing with fire by mixing multiple types of chocolate here. I feel like that's good. I feel like that's it. That's a good amount. Put this back away for now. I might mix them out later. Uh, okay. So this has been in the fridge for approximately 30 seconds, so it's not actually all that cold yet, but that's okay. Like I said, it wasn't really all that thin before, so I feel like this is going to spread just fine. And we are basically going to attempt to somehow, eh, this isn't that hot. Even with the extra chocolate, I feel like this isn't really all that much. So I'm just going to like plop it through and around and then we will try and like, what's the best tool for this? Like a knife? Spoon? I feel like my big purple rubber thing is going to be too, like too much surface area. It's just going to hold on to too much of this. Uh, I can just use this spoon. Oh dear. <laughs> this is not going to look very good. This is wrong. This is, no. The spoon's not working. The spoon is mixing it too well with my weird thing. The knife is better. Um, 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 um. <laughs> I never said that these were professional baking streams. I like to keep them relatable, or at least relatable to people like me that sometimes make things that look weird. Um, how on earth was this ever supposed to cover this whole container? Like my, my, my bottom layer is too thick and now my top layer has holes? I just, I just want to cover, I just want to, oh no. <laughs> all right, well this is just version one. Maybe for the one year anniversary of the baking stream, we'll start like repeating all of the recipes that we already did and then doing them again so that they work out better. And then by the time I'm like, 30 and five years where the baking strings have gone by, I'll actually be good at making them and I can show people how. Uh, uh, this is the first time is definitely not the charm though. I think it's important to do things even when you're doing them terribly. 
It's the only way that you're gonna learn. Um, wow, this is really ugly. Do we have any more? Can we get more chocolate out of this? Ow! It's hot! Ah! Don't grab hot things by their bottoms. Um, is there, can we? Oh gosh. I kind of want to go back to bed. <laughs> Every now and then when I've done something that just didn't go as planned, I'm just like, can I just go back to bed and then start over? Happens all the time if I make like a really bad video mistake that I have to like start over a bunch of stuff from, like if I lose some footage or like an audio recording went badly or whatever, or like files corrupt, I'm just like, can I just go back to bed and actually start today over from scratch because uh, 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 hmm. I mean, I'll still eat it. <laughs> Um, you know what will make this better? Lady Grey Tea? I have not. You guys have tea too in Canada? I don't think so. But I also haven't been to Canada for a few years. Vanilla syrup and some milk makes it better than just plain. That might, I mean, I do take it with milk, but the vanilla might help. Norma ordered a new PC, it's an Alienware Alpha, I'm so excited, nice! Where do you get the recipes from? I'm a new subscriber. Most of the time the recipes that we do are from the WoW cookbook or the Hearthstone cookbook. This particular one I just got off the internet. Um, every now and then we'll just do a, a different recipe if it's something that we really want to make. But most of them are from the WoW and Hearthstone cookbooks. This'll, this'll help. You know what else they, they have in Borlas? They have sprinkles. <laughs> this'll, this'll help. There, now, now, now it looks festive. I've never seen sprinkle in an anatomy bar before, but these are borderless bars. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> uh, gosh. See, festive. Festive. See, it looks kind of like a donut. It kind of looks like a donut. It's not a donut. It kind of looks like one. I'm going to put that in the fridge and give up. <laughs> oh, man. Rubber spatula? Yeah, it's too late. <laughs> it's too late to apologize. Uh, also, I feel like there was not, like, I feel like I needed, like, three times as much chocolate so that I could do it with a rubber spatula without having the spatula just, like, cling to too much of it, but I don't really know. Alright, that's going in the fridge. That will set. <laughs> I'll post some pictures later. If I'm too embarrassed to put them on Twitter, then I'll put them in the Discord. Uh, so make sure there's a Discord join link in the description here that you can use to join that community. Well...